<laughs> I'm going to start. I basically, well, definitely my mom, for sure. She, we're actually originally from Canada. And um, she, we, we all, my family immigrated from Canada when I was four. And she started working as a doctor here. She was also a doctor in Canada. But my dad stayed home with us. And so my dad's also really dear to me. But also, I just admire how my mom went out and worked every day. And she continues to work. She's just really focused, generous, um, really awesome. Her, I love her work ethic. And then also, um, one of my recent teachers, Almeida Bemos. Um, she's internationally known as top pedagogue and just super powerful like she's got strength and a voice that is heard and listened to but she's also a fabulous musician fabulous teacher fabulous mother and you know at times was kind of a mother to me away from home um, so yeah I think maybe those two would be the most the song that is in our album is called The Cory Man. It was written by um, these two amazing um, Celtic musicians, um, and one of the girl, the one of them is a girl named Natalie Haas, a woman named Nat Natalie Haas, and she just tours all over the place. She's fantastic at her instrument, does things cellist. that uh, is a cellist, yeah. <laughs> you know, is doing things way outside of the box that you would never. Think a child could do, um, and it's amazing to hear her work. Um, so I'm I'm very inspired by her. Um, she is a reason why I continue want to continue to want to play Celtic music and I mean just the cello itself, you know. Um, so her and then also some other shiros would be the the girls here. Yeah. Oh, all three of you guys gosh. for real so for real um you know it's like we're we're running a business and the way that all three of the three of them handle it you know all along with us. me all four, all of us, four of us um you know so we're did you say all three of them we're yeah. all three of them all three of them we're working the system we're figuring it out ourselves and like it's incredibly impressive um and it's inspiring to be around that. I think we each push each other to be yeah. better for sure. Yeah. yeah, we really do. Yeah. Oh, I mean, I don't know. I'm no like, you know, like iconic monumental person is really coming to my, you know, to the fore of my mind right now. But just the, the women in my life. I, I had a, a powerhouse violin teacher named Lori Smuckler in, in New York who, um, I remember one violin lesson where I think she t she told me something like you're like I wasn't I wasn't like digging in enough or I was like shying away from doing something and I think she said um, you're afraid that you're not gonna look pretty when you when you do that like you're not going for it because maybe you're afraid that you're you're gonna, you know, maybe not look ladylike, or I don't know, something, not, which is not, not something that I like, ever grew up with people telling me I have to look ladylike, but it was just like a moment where I was like, yeah, like, screw it. Like, just do what you wanna do. I mean, just, <laughs> you know, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm a woman, but like, I can, I can play like the boys. You can shred. Yeah, yeah like, so, I mean, yeah, and just all the other women in my life. I, like on a daily basis, any woman sticking up for another woman that's a shiro. Yeah. Love that. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> the ladies in the grocery store. Exactly. <laughs> we love them all. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of very similar to that. It's just such an inspiring time to be a woman right now because it's just so beautiful to see how we're coming together and cheering for each other and lifting each other up and, and um, you know, letting each other letting each other know that it's it's okay to have feelings and emotions and to express that um and, and no matter what form that you're doing that and so i think um yeah in everyday life uh there are women everywhere and there's so many amazing inspiring women there out there too um gosh it is so so hard to <laughs> narrow it down to just a couple even 
Um, but I think one of the first ones that come to me, um, she's not a musician, but she, I'm very artistic. Um, her name is Rupi Kaur, and she's a poet. And she, um, she, her first book that she released was self-published, and um, some of her poetry is just very um, empowering for women. And she has millions of followers around the world now. And um, she was just kind of a saving grace for me and in my life in the last few years. And um, even as a musician, I'm incredibly inspired by her in what we're doing here. Um, yeah, I, uh, Rupi Kaur is a big one for me. And uh, I think that, that might be it. I, I mean, think we, I, I feel like so I speak for all women. of us when we say that we love Beyonce. Yeah, oh. that's true. I mean, how can we not go without saying <laughs> like, Beyonce? It's like, yeah. should I we like put breathing. her on our first album? You know. <laughs> <laughs> first album. <laughs> Probably write more uh, arrangements. We want to play with her. Yeah. So get oh this gosh. to Beyonce. Yes, Beyonce, if you're listening. <laughs> also, Billie Eilish. Billie Eilish. <laughs>